Honorable Madiba, what do you think about Africa? This is serious. Africa is the most blessed continent in the world. But so one thing some leaders in Africa have in common is corruption. Africa is blessed without any form of natural disaster. <laughs> but we have corruption disaster, racial disaster, bad policy disaster. In fact, there are too many. Some places even have disaster disaster. Most of our nations have collected loan to the extent they now see their lenders and hide. Some leaders have entrapped their nations with selfishness. How can you take a loan from another country for a project and you embezzle it? How can you be independent when over 50% of your funding is coming from loan from other countries? You are not serious. The high loan alignment steady affects the decision making of some countries. <laughs> you must favor who borrow you money. One of the major problems of Africa is over Sabi and Eurocentrism. When Africa starts solving problems as Africa and not copying other countries, they will keep on solving problems that are not theirs. I stand for a better Africa. I stand for an Africa where talent and skills will be utilized and experts recognized. Not an Africa that citizens will be escaping from. Not an Africa where thousands of youth are ready to die in the Sahara and crossing the Mediterranean Sea just to go and search for a better life that is like escaping and the media we call it migration they are not serious it's not migration anything they are escaping they are escaping even escape from sobibo no do rich like this oh! africans should listen to me leadership is an opportunity to make a change in the lives of many and in time and not an opportunity for a financial change and change in status they need to use this statement to make a song in the african anthem so that we can hear it every time how can a leader be richer than his country? Which kind of a ruler is that? You cannot even rule line. Africa has faced exploitation from colonial rule. And when they got independent, fraud politicians exploited us. And we need to speak out because we don't want our future to also exploit us. Yes! Beat at the face of racial discrimination. If I cannot reach the whole world, the Africans that will hear me, behave yourself. We are one and we all live once, so no need to be feeling superior, you are not serious. And even at this modern age, I heard of sex trafficking issues in Africa. And let me shock you, if you still take sex trafficking as a business, that means you are a fool. I know life is sexually transmitted, you need sex to put out life, it does not mean you use sex to destroy lives. What? After the scramble for Africa, which was betted at the Berlin Conference of 1884, I know African nations still have unconscious loyalties and connection to their former colonies. But time, they say, heal or wound. It is time for Africa to rise above and work stronger than ever before. With the evidence of greatness in display of the achievement of individual Africans and leaders of Africans of the past and the present, it's clear that African to the world is a reality. So, Mother Africa, where did we miss it as a continent? I remember years ago when our great grandfathers and mothers used to hide, they used to run away so that they would not go and slave abroad for the white man, so that they would not go and work abroad. But now things have changed. People now spend their money, people now swim just to go and survive abroad. Oh, Africa is great, but I want Africa to be greater. Oh, Mother Africa, hear the cry of your children. I'm using this medium to regard all African leader, all African son and daughter that have been positive in whatever they are doing, that have contributed positively to their society, even if it's to their family. Any contribution is positive contribution. Positivity should be upheld. Positivity should be praised. The African youth should rise up and speak up against the evils and the ills of their societies. That is one sure way of moving forward. I'm angry because it was keeping quiet that kid my uncle. We say no to corruption, nepotism, religious barriers, ethnic barriers, and we allow love to lead. We are first Africans before any other thing. Let love lead. In fact, I have one word for them. And that is, Africa must unite theology. Honorable, what does that mean? Do I know?